Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in the year 1823, Captain Henry's band of hunters, guided by Hugh Glass and his son Hawk, traverses the wilderness. During a hunting expedition, the group is ambushed by the Arakara tribe, seeking to rescue their chief's abducted daughter, Pawaka. A fierce battle ensues, claiming many lives, and forcing the survivors to flee for safety. Glass attempts to lead them to safety, but his authority is challenged by Fitzgerald, who accuses Glass of selfish motives, particularly in protecting his son Hawk. Amidst this tension, Captain Henry intervenes, advocating for Glass's leadership, and emphasizing the need for unity in their escape efforts. Despite the chaos, Glass reassures Hawk of his protection, as Hawk is now his sole family following the loss of his wife. As they navigate the treacherous landscape, personal conflicts and external threats test the group's resolve. Amidst the turmoil, Glass remains determined to safeguard his makeshift family, and guide them to safety, even as doubts and divisions threaten to undermine their chances of survival. The journey becomes not only a physical battle against the elements and adversaries, but also a test of loyalty trust and resilience for each member of the group. The next morning, upon Glass's suggestion, the group decides to abandon their sole boat, deeming river travel too risky, due to potential ambushes. Upon reaching the riverbank, they begin stashing their pelts under Captain Henry's orders. Fitzgerald, initially resistant due to the impact on his livelihood, reluctantly complies under pressure from Henry. As night falls, Glass ventures into the forest alone. During his solitary excursion, he is viciously attacked by a bear. The sound of the struggle alerts Henry and the others, who rush to aid. They arrive to find him severely injured, pinned beneath the bear's weight, having managed to kill it. Despite his critical condition, they began treating his wounds. Henry orders the group to secure the area, fearing the indigenous attackers may have been drawn by the gunshot. Thankfully, the night passes without further incident, and the group discusses their plan to head for Fort Kiowa. Meanwhile, Hawk remains by his father's side, offering comfort, as glass teeters on the brink of survival. As they prepare to move forward, the group must contend not only with the physical perils of the wilderness, but also with the uncertain threat posed by those who seek to harm them. The next day, the group presses on through the biting cold, bearing the burden of carrying glass. As his condition slows their progress, some members voice their frustration, suggesting a mercy killing to end his suffering. Fitzgerald proposes this drastic measure, prompting protests from Hawk. Despite his initial agreement, Captain Henry cannot bring himself to carry out the act. Instead, he offers a cash reward to those who agree to care for Glass, while the rest continue their journey towards the fort. Hawk and another member, Bridger, remain behind to tend to Glass, with Fitzgerald opting to join them, in hopes of recouping his losses from abandoning the pelts. Henry accepts this arrangement, advising Fitzgerald to ensure Glass receives a proper burial, should he not survive the journey. As the main group departs, Hawk endeavors to keep Glass engaged through conversation, while Glass is plagued by haunting flashbacks of his village's destruction, and his wife's death during an ambush. Meanwhile, Fitzgerald begins digging a grave for him, convinced of his impending demise. Alone with Glass, Fitzgerald attempts to suffocate him, accusing him of endangering Hawk's life. Hawk interrupts the attempt just in time, triggering a violent confrontation. In the ensuing struggle, Fitzgerald fatally wounds Hawk, callously denying any knowledge of his fate to Bridger upon his return. Glass, powerless to intervene, watches in agony, as his son dies before his eyes. Though he tries to convey the truth to Bridger, his words fall on deaf ears, leaving him unable to prevent the tragic outcome. The next day, Fitzgerald awakens Bridger with the alarming news that the Arakaras are approaching, insisting they must flee. Despite Bridger's concern for Hawk's absence, Fitzgerald dismisses it, believing Hawk has moved on. Fitzgerald proposes abandoning Glass, but Bridger refuses, citing their promise to give him a proper burial. Ignoring the plea, Fitzgerald callously buries Glass alive up to his neck, leaving him to his fate with only a canteen as a farewell. Meanwhile, Captain Henry and his group continue their journey towards Fort Kiowa. After some time, Glass manages to free himself from the shallow grave, and discovers Hawk's lifeless body nearby. Consumed by grief and rage, he vows to avenge his son's murder. Elsewhere, Bridger grows suspicious of Fitzgerald and confronts him about the attack. Fitzgerald confesses to deceiving him, angering Bridger, who regrets leaving Glass and Hawk behind. In a moment of confrontation, Bridger pulls out his gun, but Fitzgerald swiftly incapacitates him, urging him to prioritize his own survival. As Glass mournfully leaves the body behind in the forest, he tends to his wounds, and continues his solitary journey. Evading the pursuing Arakaras, he finds temporary refuge near a riverbank, 
surviving on meager sustenance and his own resilience. Meanwhile, Fitzgerald and Bridger stumble upon a ravaged village, where Bridger encounters a lone survivor, secretly providing her with food out of compassion. Bridger confides in Fitzgerald about his lingering doubts regarding their actions, but Fitzgerald reassures him that leaving Glass behind was necessary for their own survival. They continue onward, unaware of the consequences of their choices, as they confront the harsh realities of survival in the unforgiving wilderness. Amidst the wilderness, Glass manages to escape the treacherous river currents, determined to seek retribution for the betrayal he endured. His path crosses with that of Highcock, a Pawnee refugee, initially wary of Glass, but eventually swayed by his desperate pleas for sustenance, and his tale of deceit at the hands of Fitzgerald. Highcock, recognizing the weight of Glass's quest for vengeance, offers him both empathy and companionship, sharing his meager provisions and providing transport on his horse. Meanwhile, Fitzgerald and Bridger arrive at Fort Kiowa, weaving a tale of Glass's demise and Hawk's disappearance for Captain Henry. Bridger, burdened by guilt and conflicted emotions, refuses the prize money offered for Glass's supposed demise. Fitzgerald, attempting to assuage his own guilt, convinces Bridger of their powerlessness to aid Glass further, manipulating the situation to his advantage. Back in the wilderness, Glass and Highcock confront the harsh realities of nature, enduring a fierce snowstorm. Recognizing Glass's dire condition, Highcock constructs a shelter and tends to his wounds, offering solace in the face of uncertainty. Upon awakening, Glass is met with tragedy as he discovers Highcock hanged by French hunters. Determined to uphold justice, he infiltrates the hunter's camp, witnessing the vile exploitation of Pawaka. With righteous fury, he intervenes, engaging in a deadly confrontation, that culminates in Pawaka's retaliation and Glass's decisive action against the hunters, though not without personal cost. The next day brings further peril, as he finds himself under attack by the Arakara tribe, facing a harrowing accident as his horse plunges off a cliff. Miraculously surviving the fall, he seeks refuge within the carcass of his fallen companion, braving the elements in a desperate bid for survival. As dawn breaks, he awakens to a landscape fraught with danger and uncertainty, his resolve tested by the trials of nature and the machinations of his adversaries. Yet, fueled by the flames of vengeance and the resilience of the human spirit, he presses forward, determined to confront his demons and forge a path towards redemption. As the bitter cold of morning envelopes him, his relentless struggle for survival only intensifies his resolve to enact vengeance upon Fitzgerald. Meanwhile, a survivor from a French encampment seeks refuge at the fort, recounting a harrowing encounter with an unknown assailant who decimated his companions. In an act of gratitude, he offers his belongings as recompense for sanctuary. Among these belongings, Bridger identifies Glass's canteen, sparking suspicion. Though the survivor remains reticent about its origin, Fitzgerald discerns the truth. Henry, seizing the opportunity, mobilizes a search party for Glass and Hawk, their whereabouts unknown. However, instead of Hawk, they discover Glass, whose condition is dire. With urgency, Henry tends to Glass's wounds, who wastes no time in divulging Fitzgerald's treachery. Upon their return to the fort, Henry learns of Fitzgerald's flight, along with the stolen funds. Angered by Bridger's complicity, Henry lashes out, doubting Bridger's integrity. Glass however corroborates Bridger's innocence, revealing Fitzgerald's manipulation. With Glass resolved to pursue Fitzgerald, Henry implores him to wait until his injuries heal. Consumed by vengeance, he disregards personal safety, and asserts the urgency of their pursuit, knowing Fitzgerald's fear will drive him far from their reach. Ultimately, Henry exceeds, joining Glass in his quest for justice. As night falls, Henry shares his own fears of familial estrangement, prompting a poignant exchange with Glass about the desperate act that led to the officer's death, illustrating the lengths to which a father will go to protect his child. With their resolve steeled by shared anguish and determination, they press onward into the unknown, fraught with danger and the promise of reckoning. The next morning, they decide to split up, hoping to cover more ground. As they scour the wilderness, Henry confronts Fitzgerald, intent on bringing him to justice for his crimes. However, Fitzgerald fatally shoots Henry, leaving Glass to discover his mentor's lifeless body. In a desperate bid for survival, he uses Henry's corpse as a shield against Fitzgerald's subsequent attacks. Though he manages to wound Fitzgerald, the cunning fugitive evades capture, leading to a relentless pursuit through the unforgiving terrain. Their deadly game of cat and mouse reaches its climax at a riverbank, where Glass confronts Fitzgerald. In a brutal and visceral confrontation, Glass ultimately gains the upper hand, severely injuring Fitzgerald. As Glass stands on the precipice of vengeance, he is confronted by the presence of the Arakara tribe, led by their leader. In a moment of profound realization, 
he heeds the wisdom of Hickok's words, and pushes Fitzgerald towards the Arakara, who exact their own form of justice upon him. With Puaka, the girl glass saved, the tribe spares glass, and departs without a word. Exhausted but finally free from the burden of his vendetta, Glass watches his wife's spirit fade into the wilderness, taking a deep breath, as he finds closure amidst the vast expanse of the untamed wilderness. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.